Hi, I'm Michelle Brain and I am the Midwife Hypnotist. Today we're talking about can you reduce the risk of getting a tear during birth? Yes, 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 you can. <laughs> and so often I'll talk to women about, you know, there's, you can have hands on, midwives will put their hand on the baby's head, there's hands off, there's all these things that midwives talk about. Oh my God, it does my head in. I always ask the woman what she wants. Now, I have had a midwife slap me on the hand for having my hand on the perineum, just supporting the head. It was a, it was a, it was a guy and he slapped my hand. I'll never forget it. Now, he came in just for the birth because we like to have two midwives as the baby's been born. He had no idea that I had had a conversation with this woman about what she wanted. How dare he? And didn't I give his hand a slap when we left the room? <laughs> so there's lots of different ways that you can reduce having tears. The most important one is listen to your body. Learn your breathing techniques. Hands on, hands off. Do you need hands on? Do you need hands off? Now, one particular birth that I attended was a woman whose previous birth was quite um, a significant tear. And we, we tend to call tears in degrees. So first degree, second degree, third degree. Now she'd had a third degree, which means it went all the way to her bottom. Now, the reason that this um, tear was so big was the baby had had a hand on its head and there was a few other issues that had happened. But basically she'd pushed and was told um, to push the baby out, you know, and the midwife said, push, 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 instead of breathing her baby out. So for her next baby, the doctors decided that she should have a cesarean so that she didn't risk tearing that scar again. No, why? She came to me and asked me to attend the birth with her, which I did. And she was actually thinking about having the C-section. And after I explained to her that it's all about being in control of your body and breathing. Focusing on nothing but your breathing during that head descending and, and the head crowning, I should say. So when I explained it to her, she sort of understood then how the first birth had happened and the second birth was going to be different. She had a beautiful birth. She had no tears. She breathed her baby out and it was beautiful. Now, during that particular birth, I did put my hands on the baby's head. Why? Because I spoke to her about it and said to her that I know from my personal perineum, I would like um, hands on. Now, it's usually my hand that would, it's on my baby's head. And she was offered to put hers. And she, and in all, in, to be honest, my hand was there, but not really have any pressure. It was just there. But she did it all herself. She just breathed gently. And with every breath that she breathed blew out of her mouth, you could see the baby's head moving very gently, very slowly, allowing it to stretch up. Now, other things that, depending on the situation, like if I'd had a compound, if I'd had a head on a baby's, I might use a hot washer to warm the perineum. Again, I would talk to the woman about this and say, look, this is what's happening. What do you think? A hot bath? Would you like to get into a bath? Um, would you like to birth in the bath? Just that, that temperature change. But breathing, not that big push. And sometimes it can be overwhelming when it comes to that, that, that pushing where you, you feel your body bearing down. But if you understand, if you understand that simply taking control of your breath, focusing on nothing else except your breath, your partner doing with you, and even the... Uh, uh, I find introducing that to the woman straight in their face if they're, they're unsure, doing it together. And that's what I teach the partners too, is to do it together, that down breathing. There's all different techniques. That 
will reduce significantly reduce the risk of tearing because nine times out of ten when a woman tears it's because she's had this enormous big oh my god i don't know what to do ah! and push this baby out <laughs> bang and the perineum just hasn't had time to stretch up so trust your body go into trance and just allow it to happen and during trance you'll be so aware of every movement your baby makes so check out birthing and trance understand that you are in control and you can do this and learn those breathing techniques practice them but no if you go into trance it will just work it just all comes together because you're calm you relax your body is all relaxed and your baby will just beautifully and easily be born so check out birthingandtrance.com check out my website michellebrain.com and if you need any assistance please don't hesitate to reach out from out to me because that's what i'm here for so please reach out if you need anything cheers